Hey guys, Bobby here. So I thought I'd share a new knife with you guys. I just picked up this. <laughs> this beautiful. Uh, this is the Wii. Let's take a look. I think it's 604. Uh, yes, 604 DS. So here it is. There's only 70 of them. This is number 44. So it comes with in a. You know, this is the box that it comes with. I just picked this up, so I haven't carried it or nothing. I stuck it in my pocket one time, and that is pretty much it. Comes with in a this really nice box actually, and uh, has a tool and a certificate. I said number 44 out of 70 gives you all the specs. So blade length 3.82, uh, weight well 4.23 ounces. That's not bad for that big of a knife, you know. <clears throat> I have kind of looked it over. <laughs> I mean, this thing is gorgeous. Uh, I mean, I love that pivot. The milling work to me is just really impressive. I was trying to see milling lines, but I honestly don't see any. Uh, that is crazy to me. I love the scales. The scales, uh, I don't even see. I mean, it almost looks like integral. You know, I don't. I don't see a seam at all. Uh, I've yeah, so this one is Damasteel. You guys can see the etching. It's, I think it's gorgeous. I love this uh, this blade design too. I actually brought a couple knives out uh, just to show you guys. Uh, it kind of reminds me of uh, the 452CF. So it's just that 452 is a lot bigger. You know, it's, I, I, this is over a four inch blade. Uh, here's a large Sabenza. So, let's show you guys compared to Damasteel. You know, this is definitely very reflective. It has like a mirror finish. <clears throat> and, well, I'll show you. Of course I still have my, my Shiro. <laughs> Knife I probably carry the most. But, I mean, this is really an awesome knife. Uh, the reason I brought that ZT out, I was just, you know, just kind of going going through it. Uh, it is a little thick behind the blade. Kind of like a ZT to me. You know, if you ever uh, just kind of, ZT is always kind of thick behind the blade. It is a little bit, I mean, not bad. I haven't cut anything with this, obviously. I just picked this up. So, and one thing I do like is, you know, I like this hardware. That hardware looks awesome. And oh, look at that. It has the number 44 out of 70, I think that says. Yep, 44 out of 70, and then the model. I, I definitely like that. I like how it's, you know, it's kind of subdued. It's, you know, you can't really see it. It doesn't take away from the design. Yeah, I mean, that is... <laughs> I like it. The action, super smooth. Dead center. And look at it, just matches perfect with that line. And there's the top. Let's check out that jumping. I like it. It's not too aggressive. Uh, if you have a Sabenza 21, it's a lot milder. It's a lot milder than a Sabenza 21. I'll say that. You know, yeah, definitely. Feels good in the hand though. I, I like it. Check this. Oof. So like I said, I was I just kind of looked it over, uh, just barely. I like that cutout. You can see some milling lines. I think they probably did that on purpose. You know, it's easy to disengage. You can see. Look how much they hollowed out the. You know the liners. I mean, they did a really good job on that. I have to say, I'm, I'm really impressed with this knife. The only thing I'm not crazy about is this pocket clip. So, of course, since I got it, I just got off work. You know, I try to put it in my pocket. And I, you know, you got to do this just a little bit. Just kind of lift up just a little bit. Uh, the angle. See, it's just, you just got to lift it up just a little bit. I mean, that's not, to me, it's not a deal breaker. Uh, most of the time, 
when I see that it went in my pocket fine, you know, I just went like that, put it in, and took it out. <laughs> That's about as much as I've done so far. Yeah, I love that switch. That switch is nice. Yeah, I'm really digging this, but uh, that's why I just wanted to, you know, share it with you guys and show you guys. So this is a limited production, only 70, and I know Blade HQ sold out. And that's well, maybe they they didn't. I don't know. I know Blade HQ and Knife Center has it. I picked mine up from Knife Center. Shipping was fast. I uh, like them, so can't complain. There's the lanyard hole. That's pretty much it guys, just like I said, an initial overview pretty much. And I'll probably do a follow up video on this. But, hopefully you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. Bye.